hello and welcome back to my channel and so on and so on and like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that and blah 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 now that that contractual stuff's out of the way let's get into the content and click I once again took a look at the music I listened to on a Monday, this time the 24th of April 2023, and I ranked each piece of music. I went down the recommended new songs list in my title, and I skipped no songs no matter how much I wanted to. My ranking list tops out at A1 from day one, but it goes all the way down to Not For Me. I prefer the Not For Me designation because I'm sure some of the music that doesn't resonate with me just wasn't made for me to understand. I do hope you'll check out all of the music I play and let me know just how wrong I am. And remember, the song that you connect with is a good song, no matter what some loser on the internet says. The first song is Love Harder by Kate Tempest. I think it's an interesting idea and important, but the rhymes are a little too obvious. When it burns bright, a lover like me learns to be a fighter. It's a fine song, but I'll be looking for better things from this artist. My next track was High Life, Snoop Dogg, and Buju Banton. I hate to say it, but these are some of the worst Snoop lines I've ever heard. When he slips back into Snoop style flow, which he doesn't start with, it gets a little better. But with your girl on the phone, listening to Nina Simone. Yep, now I'm gone. I lie. Feels like a throwaway line. I'm going to give this one and it's fine. The next track was Snoop Dogg and BB Rexall's Satellite. The smoke fucking with your this is the second Snoop song that was recommended and it's a disco influenced track. It's a I much prefer his flow here, plus there's a clear George Clinton reference. Yeah, you know I love this shit, but I gotta get back to the mother yeah. shit. Maybe I just like it when rappers hit verbal triplets more. This I'd listen to again. The next song is Whatever's Inconvenient by c -Mat. It starts rough, and some lyrics are trying too hard to be modern for my taste. Like the grease up on your mullet. But the back end is excellent. It's another listen again. The next track, though, is Running Out of Hope, Arkansas by Brennan Lee. Now, this is country. I'm also a sucker for a song that does a clever play on words that is also the name of a city. See, for example, The Mayor of Candor Lied by Harry Chapin. This is my first A1 from day one for this week. I want to tell my boss he's fired, burn my unpaid bills. And if folks ask when I'm coming back, promise I never will. My next track is Birdie's Heartbreaker, another strong entry for this week. The layered chorus with that echoing chamber effect, when used well, also makes me enjoy a song. It's used well here, but it's not giving me something I'm going to remember a week from now. This gets placed in my I wouldn't skip it category. I Used to Be In Love by Jake Shears is pretty catchy. but not the kind of thing I normally go seeking out. It's very disco. I wouldn't skip, but I wouldn't listen again intentionally. Up next is George Fitzgerald and S-I-M-L, Simmel's mother. I have a hard time with down-tempo indie works that are focused around the vocal. There may be something here, but I just have to admit that this one was not for me. Your mileage, of course, may vary. The next song is Good Guy by Against the Current, and maybe it's because there haven't been a lot of solid rock entries on this list. This song sounded pretty good to me. I used to hate you, now I think you're sad. However, it doesn't really give me anything new, so this is another wouldn't skip. I don't think it rises above that level, however. Truthfully, we need music like this that is there doing its job right, but following the formula. Next up is the one that got away by Muna again. I don't know how this got back on my list. So I'll just recut to my review from last time. As for Muna's, Muna's, the one that got away, I like the 80s bass vibe, but I also heard this type of performance done more strongly elsewhere. No it's a good performance that just doesn't resonate with me. I wouldn't go so far as to say it's not for me, but like the last track, it's fine. Up next is Not Over Yet by The Stickmen featuring Grace Grundy. It's actually a really good production, but this is somewhere between Good Guy and the one that got away in terms of not really bringing in anything new. I hesitated, but given the driving beat and a cool night racing around the city, this is a wouldn't skip. Up next is See Me Now by Nico Rubio. I have the same problem with this one as with Heartbreaker. I just have this problem with down-tempo songs, I think. I'm not gonna break for you. All I do is pray for you now. And I haven't called. Let's call this one not for me and all assume that I'm wrong because it does have a beautiful trumpet solo. 
Next up is Mucha Buenes and laid back Luke's All I Own. This is another wooden skip, but also something I'm not going to seek out. The dark call and response at the end of the choruses is interesting. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And I hope more artists in this style bring that almost throwback dubstep feel into their work. Has it been so long now that dubstep is throwback? I was there, Gandalf. I was there 3,000 years ago. <laughs> Next up is the Japanese house with Sad to Breathe. Okay, maybe I don't have a problem with all Dao Temple songs. This one starts down tempo and builds up and builds up throughout the song, which is something I generally enjoy. Cause you're right, and I'm trying. Is this something I would seek out again, though? I don't think so. But worth hearing? Yes. If it came on the radio, I wouldn't skip it. Up next is The Void by Spirit Box. Darkness here is a more metallic wall of sound than all I own, but shows a trend that I do enjoy in what's being produced now. There's a sonic blast behind the hurt and pain of the performers that cacophonic burst highlight. I'm just not sure the vocals pull the music performance up, which is definitely metal influenced, but electronic in nature. And that's interesting. So while it's not A1, I would definitely play it again. Next up is Elliot Greer's 33. If the wonderful Brennan Lee hadn't already appeared on this list, this one might have been raised higher. I also complained earlier about a modern field of lyrics, but there is something interesting about a singer songwriter saying hydro flask instead of water bottle. Brown liquid in a hydro flask. Says it's coffee, but I didn't ask. On the other hand, like a dove tied to a tree is a strange lyric. Is that something that happens a lot? Like a dove tied to a tree. It's clearly an emotional ode to missing a loved one struggling with something the narrator can't help with. I think this one will grow on me. After all, it took me until Clerks 3. Shoot a bomb! That is the jerseyest thing I've ever heard or seen in my life. You like that John Gorka song. You know the one. I'm from New Jersey, I don't expect too much, if the world ended today, I would adjust. For those reasons, this is an I'd listen again, but in future it might be a must replay. Next up is For My Dogs by Willie Jones, Rashad, and Blanco Brown. We just came a long way and they fell off, and they held them back but we still go strong to do it for my dog. This is the last song that I listened to, and you can tell it's a classy song when dog is spelled like the mandolin player. I don't think that's why this song is named that, however. This is that hip-hop drum tracked country that gets endlessly mocked, but at least it's attempting something new. The guitar work is good if you carefully listen to it, since it's pretty far back in the mix. I do it for my dog. When it all goes down, you know who I call. But does it really do anything new? I just said it did, but does it do something worth remembering and seeking out again? I think there's better from these artists, but this is worth something. Let's call it an I'd listen again. So what's it all mean? Out of touch YouTube personality, looking for content, makes several opinions. Other than I hope you found something new you like from this or something to think about, remember, love the music you love. And don't let someone on the internet tell you what to think about music. Except definitely keep coming back to hear my opinions anyway. Hear them, click like and subscribe, and then explain just what I misunderstood in the comments.